America. So I'm pretty sure everybody's heard about this story already, but I will give you a synopsis and I'll tell you where we are. So two brothers, both a five-year-old and a seven-year-old, were visiting an apartment of a friend above Reptile Ocean Incorporated, an exotic pet store in New Brunswick, um, Canada. Campbellton, New Brunswick. So they're visiting their friend with their parents. Um, and as they were visiting their friend with their parents, a python, it was a pet, it was a pet python of the pet of, it was a pet python of the owner of the exotic pet store. Um, and this python escaped, traveled through the vents, upstairs, and both strangled and killed both of the brothers. It's pretty sad. The store owner is John Claude Survey. Um, you know, said he didn't hear about the he didn't hear the sounds during the incident. And discovered the horrific scene when he went into the living room the next morning, where the two boys were sleeping, where they were both found dead because of the python getting loose. Um, now, the an autopsy was done, and in the autopsy, they decided that both of those boys were strangled in their sleep by the python that had escaped. Um, the story continues to devolve, and I just can't imagine being the parents. And for that matter, I can't even imagine being Jean Claude. Because just imagine, like, two, two little kids are staying at your house, and you want to do the best you can to protect them, and your python gets loose. With that being said, he should keep his python under lock and key. Like, seriously, folks. Like, these animals are dangerous. And this goes back to my whole life that those people have exotic pets, right? And I know there's some, out of, some, there, some of those folks out there, some of those folks are watching this show that have exotic pets out there. Like, dude. If you have an exotic pet, that's cool for you and your exotic pet. But once children enter the scene and children are there, do everything possible to keep that exotic pet away from your children, away from the children at all. Because you don't want to hurt the children because you're irresponsible and you decide to be you know, an exhibitionist with your crazy ass pet. And now these kids had to suffer the consequences. Hey, Fowler Nation. Thanks to you, we have made our goal of 1,500 subscribers. You can check out our behind the scenes video in the description below this video. But now we need our next goal. We need to get to 2,000 subscribers and we can't do it without your help. So do me a favor, click that subscribe button. And when we get to 2,000 subscribers, we're gonna release a very special video with the Fowler Nation mascot, Larry the Cat.